Good morning, Karen from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, we are going to be talking about science, and I'll be back to tell you all about it. Welcome back. Happy Saturday, everyone. This morning, I'm going to be talking to you about science. And as you know, we are going through the month of December doing Advent. And we have family worship at night with Advent activities that we're doing. And then also during the day, we're sharing in a special unit study through Not Grass uh, Christmas. It's called um, Celebrate the Savior. And it's a really great book. And we are learning so many great things. And we are just having a wonderful time. I wanted to add some science. I do have a book I'll share with you. I did share um, some of that with you in the um, video that I did in regards to the Christmas unit study we're doing, but I will share that with you again, and then just also some other books that we're going to add in and just make this a really fun science advent study. So first, let's get started. The first book I want to share with you is called All Creation Waits, and it's the Advent Mystery of New Beginnings, and I absolutely love this book. It's just wonderful. And she tells the story about how it all began and um, Gail Boss. And then she had children and she just wanted her holidays to be different. She didn't want a traditional Christmas. And she knew with creatures and the beautiful animals that God created that there was a story to be told and a lesson to be learned with each one of them. So she um, decided to create an Advent study. And it goes through, there are several, um, of course, you're going to have Christmas Day, so it goes all the way up to the 25th. But it has painted turtle, muskrat, black bear, chickadee, white-tailed deer, honeybee, chipmunk, cottontail, common loon, wood frog, raccoon, little brown bat, possum, wild turkey, common gardener snake, a woodchuck, a striped skunk, porcupine, common eastern firefly, meadow vole, eastern fox squirrel, red fox, northern cardinal, lake trout, and on Christmas Day, it's about Jesus the Christ. And I was just so excited to read her introduction and just... Um, I want to read this small part. It says, every single creature is full of God and is a book about God. Every creature is a word of God. If I spend enough time with the tiniest creatures, even a caterpillar, I would never have to prepare a sermon. So full of God is every creature. And it just talks about her having a son and a toddler. And like I said, how they wanted to have their Christmas be different. And they wanted to have more than a Christmas tree and flashing lights and presents. So she decided to write this book. And the first Advent day, we talked about the painted turtle. And there was just so much great information. She um, talks about um, how the turtle has to prepare for the cold weather, what he does how he goes and gets himself in the mud and how he stops his breathing and how he is there for six months. And it's just, it's amazing to hear the stories and how God is so awesome in his creations and just how he makes all this work. It's To me, it's just outstanding. So, and then we watched a video about the painted turtle um, hibernation of the painted turtle so it just added more to this study and like I said it goes through there's the muskrat and then it has a picture of the little muskrat and it just goes through and it talks about all God's beautiful animals black bear 
and it talks about animals that adapt, animals that migrate, and animals that hibernate. And sometimes there's a lot of animals, and even I thought certain animals hibernated when they really don't hibernate. They do sleep for long periods of time, but it's not a full hibernation. So this book, if you don't have it, definitely get it. Get this book. It's wonderful. It says, open a window each day of Advent onto the natural world. 25 meditations paired with original woodcut reflex on how wild animals adapt when darkness and cold descend. We hear it as if for the first time the ancient wisdom of Advent. The dark is not an end, but the way a new beginning comes. So absolutely beautiful book. And we're excited to share in this for our part of our science that we're doing. And like I said, the videos are awesome. You can go, they have them for all the different ones that are listed in this book. I also um, got this 25 activities for Christmas science. And then as a bonus, it has um, six winter nature ideas. So we um, actually made some butter and there's all kinds of different things listed. It's got the table of contents. It tells you the science activities. It's got articles and tips. It's got an introduction. Um, it has winter nature study ideas and list and templates. And it's just really colorful. It goes through and tells you what you're going to do, what you're going to need so you can make a list and a lot of the things you might actually have. But 15 minutes at a window, winter nature study. And so it just tells you what you want to do, what you're going to talk about, gives you some fun experiments. Here's a candy cane magic. And I thought, this is simple, but it's fun, and the kids love seeing things. And then once you do the experiment, you can take it further, and you can make some peppermint syrup to add to your hot cocoa or your coffee. So yummy, yummy. So there's just several different ones you can do. It has a Christmas maze, Christmas milk magic. Christmas slime, Christmas tree cookies, and then in the very back of the book, there's some templates back here. There's also the master list supply list, and then here would start your, um, whoops, I'm sorry, winter nature study. So that would be listed in the back. The first one they're going to talk about is some cardinals. And it's going to talk about coordinating science activities. Listen for cardinals. Head outside and listen for the call of a cardinal. Note, you can find, the, you can find this through the bird app, and it gives you the website to go through. So you can always do that. Talks about all kinds of different things, holly and nuts and pine trees. Just got some great nature activities you can do because even though it's cold and it's winter we need to be outside in getting fresh air and just being in nature so this is a really fun book and then what I did is I went ahead and added in some um, books for read-alouds and just some things they could go through I stuck them in my little farm fresh Christmas tree this is from the Dollar Tree, but just to make a fun basket for something different instead of our regular baskets. And the first one I got is National Geographic. It's called Great Migration, and it's just amazing animal journeys. And it goes through, it talks about on the move, zebras, water emergencies, red crabs, danger, helping crabs, walruses, walruses in trouble, lending a hand. And then it just goes through and it talks about those animals and how are they on the move and where are they going and how far do they travel. So it's just got some beautiful pictures in here too. The illustrations are great. The information is good. It's got some ge geography that you'll be learning about and where these animals are located. So this was just a fun book, you know, and water emergencies, just things that we have. So, you know, as us, we have to prepare for winter and so do these animals. Then the next book I have for them to go through is Going Home, The Mystery of Animal Migration. And it just goes through a bunch of different animals. It talks about their journey, talks about where they travel, what they have to do, and going home, going home. It's got the beautiful butterflies. It had the sea turtles. It's just, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful book. And it just talks about, once again... Um, 
locations, geographical locations, so you can get some geography in here. And it just talks about what all these little animals have to go through and to get home and to travel where they need to be for the cold months. And then I have a series of these books. This is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. And the reason I got this is because it talks about harvest time and, and where do these little animals go and, and what do they do once it starts getting cold and everything's done and once the gardens have all been planted and we've harvested ours, what do we do then? talks about, um, in the back here, let me kind of show you, it starts talking about the dark and down in the dirt and it just talks about animals have to start looking for a place to be or it's going to be dark and it's going to be a place for them to hibernate because it says hurry hurry and harvest there is enough for the neighbors too and they can get all their stuff and it talks about how the little animals go way down in the little tunnels and which ones are underneath and it shares with you pictures of them so this is really a good series so this one is up in the garden and down in the dirt the next one is over and under the pond so you're going to have pond life in there like the turtles we talked about and just um, once again illustrations are beautiful it talks about tadpoles and frogs and great blue herons it talks about moose and beaver and it lists all the different ones and tells you about the animals and where they stay kept through the winter and the cold months so this is a great book here and then the last one in this series that I have is over and under the snow and it is got shows you like here it's all closed it looks like a little squirrel laying there once again some beautiful and it talks like you know we're over the snow i glide into the woods frosted fresh and white but underneath when we are traveling and we're going across underneath down below the root system we have some chipmunks, we have some squirrels, they're hiding their food. So these are just some really great books. And it talks about the little mice and them being underneath and just really fun. You can see the, the all them going through and digging, they're slippery in their tunnels and how they make all those underneath. And so just some really fun books. So those are the books that I had to add. I do have one activity that I purchased. I do believe this was off of Esty. It's a really cute little bag. It's got bears and the red fox and deers. And it has the owl. And it has a bunny rabbit and a little squirrel. And then in here, there's a little pouch in the front. Are some bags for pine cones. So we're going to do some nature studies. And we're going to look for these different. The Ponderosa pine. They have the Douglas fern. They have the Eagle Man spruce. They have the black pine. They have the white spruce. So they have several different ones, and we will look for these and compare them to the pictures. So I'm excited for them to be able to do to do that because they love being out, and um, we love taking walks and being on hikes and just sharing some things. And even though it's cold, we can make the best of it and just think, make things really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed um, the books. And like I said, this one is totally amazing. All Creation Waits and Advent, Mystery of New Beginnings. And then another fun book is a Christmas activity plus winter nature study ideas. So either one of these I think you would love. And then whatever books you have, I'm sure you have books that for hibernation and migration and adapting and you can just share those with your children and there's just so many lessons to be learned in each one of these so i pray that you have a blessed saturday and that you have enjoyed this video if you have please subscribe to my channel and if you liked it give me a thumbs up and don't forget click on that notification bell so you'll be um, aware when i have new videos out have a blessed happy Saturday. Bye-bye now.